friends, I'm Jocelyn Peters, the maker and designer behind Mountain Song Designs, and welcome to this knitting tutorial. Today I'm going to share with you how to do basic cables without a cable needle. So let's get started. I've already made uh, two sets of cables here, a right cross and left cross. And when you have basic uh, cables, uh, anywhere from about three stitch cables, maybe up to six, um, you'll have to see how well you can manage them with this technique. Um, but it's a nice quick way to get those cables created and not have to fool around with a cable needle. So here we go. I'm gonna pick up my knitting and I'm going to go across to my cable. All right, so I'm at my right cross. Now this works with a uh, right cross or right cross purl. Um, I want these two stitches, my second two stitches, to come in front. So they need to go to the front. So I need my needle, my right needle, to go to the front as well. I'm going to slip the needle in between those two stitches underneath. And I'm gonna do this next step very carefully because I'm gonna have some loose stitches. So I slide all four off and then pick these two loose ones up with my left needle. You have to be kind of quick and kind of gentle. Uh, no quick movements, sudden movements, or else these will uh, pull out and you'll have to figure that out. But after you get the first two there onto the left needle, you slide these two from your right needle to your left needle. And look, you can already see that uh, the look of the cable. Then all you have to do is knit those four stitches. All right, so let's look at it. We have our right cable, right cross, done. Let me show that to you one more time on the right cross, and then I'll show you the left cross. So I know that my second two stitches need to come to the front because they have to come across and angle off to my right. So they go to the front, so my right needle comes to the front. Slide underneath, get ready to slip all four off very carefully. Slip all four and immediately slip my left needle through those two loose stitches. Slide these first two here from my right onto my left and then knit them. Look at that. See? All done. Two right cross. Now let's do left cross. Same concept. However, the front, the first two stitches here need to be to the front so they can go off to the left. So my second two stitches need to come to the back. So my right needle goes to the back. I slip that in between there under those stitches. Okay, I'm gonna slide all four off. And since that right needle is to the back, my left needle stays to the front, picks those two up, slide these two back to the left needle, and knit them. Now, like I said, if this is a purl, uh, if, if you would be purling these, you would just purl them uh, off of that left needle, no big deal. All right, so there's my left cross. I'll show that to you one more time. Let's purl over here. Now remember, the second two stitches need to go to the back so that the first two stitches can go to the front. So since the second two go to the back, my right needle goes to the back. I, I like to kind of pull down here uh, on the fabric so I get a little extra wiggle room there in those stitches. You might find that that helps you some. So I have them on there. I'm going to let all four loose and then pick up the two free stitches with my left needle. I like to have as little movement there as possible so I don't uh, pull anything out. Knit across. So there we are. We made our cables and we didn't need a cable needle. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy knitting. See you next time.
Bye.